what I have here is a self-grafted Pinkerton avocado tree. This tree I grafted a year and a half ago. On the 27th of January 2001. It's a Pinkerton that I grafted on a two-year-old seedling. There's a video on my channel of this tree. I did two single bud grafts on it, patch graft. This is the, the one graft. This is the one graft over there. And you can see the other graft that one of my kids broke off. It was growing really strong over there. And then I just sealed it off with a bitumen sealer. Same there. So this is what this little tree is looking like. It's really looking worse for wear. Uh, it's not looking healthy at all. It's one meter high, total height, and about 800 to 900 centimeters in the widest spot. So this is a typical characteristic of a Pinkerton. Um, this branch used to grow upward and then it flops over and then it sends new growth. This branch will grow up eventually and flop over as well. And then so it goes, it staggers, it grows up, flops, grows and flops. And that's just the dwarf genetic in the Pinkerton, which is really cool. Um, I love these Pinkerton trees, the way they grow. I've got a little one over there that's really healthy that I'll do a video on at a later stage. Also self-grafted Pinkerton tree. So this one's looking really unhealthy. And it's been in the ground, like I said, yeah, for a year and a half. It looked extremely healthy on my previous video. Got a short there, um, just photos of how it, how it developed, how it grew with a single bud um, over time, like a little time-lapse video. And um, yeah, so the new growth seems to be looking fine, but it's similar to my hash tree. I think there might be some sort of a root rot in this area, in the soil, and that's why they, they're not, just not growing as well as what they should be growing. So there's some new growth coming out there as well. That will also pop up and come. And I, I hope to see this tree filling in. But at the moment it looks like it's trying to die and then trying to grow at the same time. So I got the product. Yeah, it's called Fosgard 400 SL. Got it from my local nursery. It's a, a, a phosphorus acid and potassium phosphite potassium phosphite so this is a, a mixture that you use for the fungus in the soil that's killing the tree which is called phytophthora cinnamomi and i haven't treated any of these trees with any of this so this will act as experiment um, i'm going to do a mix uh, some of this with water and i'm going to do a root drench right now um, I haven't looked at the instructions, so I don't, I'm not sure how much of this I have to mix into the water. So I'll give that a good read now. And I just wanted to show this tree and um, experiment and document it and do future posts on if, if this works. If this works and how it's going to change this tree. I'm not expecting much growth out of this tree at the moment because we are almost in the middle of winter. And this is what this tree looks like. And just want to mention that I had a branch that came out here that grew up all the way. This tree was, was really lush green and was flourishing. It really looked like it was growing fast, doing well, going healthy. And then all of a sudden I just, it just started going yellowish. You can see the yellow color there. If you compare it to the other Pinkerton leaves over here, 
It's really deep, dark green flower buds developing. They should be breaking this month somewhere in uh, June and July. It should be act actively flowering this Pinkerton. So yes, June, July is flowering season for these Pinkertons in um, southern South Africa. And back to this tree. I'll do the drench right now on the 1st of June 2022 and I will do an update on it and um, I spoke to a friend that's a commercial avo farmer he looked at the symptoms of this tree and what it's doing and he's convinced that it's root rot so let's try this fast guard and see if it if it does anything for this tree I really hope that this tree can pull through and grow nice and vigorous and strong and give us some, some Pinkerton fruits one day.